All right, welcome back to episode of CTT, Control the Tide, produced by Wave TV. It's your boy, the consistent Deshaun. Got my boy Stone Cold with me. Today, we're doing a little light episode today. We're going to talk about something that might not matter to you, but it's a bit that we all need. We all need therapy. So, Stone, before we go into this, let me ask, what's your perception on therapy? Do you think that people need it? Do you think people, do you think people need it or they don't need it? Um, so this is what I would say uh, about therapy. I feel like, I mean, me personally, I've never gone to therapy or actual like real therapy session. I feel like I've had like, I use like my form of therapy through, you know what I'm saying, unlicensed therapists, which probably isn't the best. So you, so basically you just talk to somebody. Yeah, I talk to people. So you basically. And I have my therapy sessions with people I know and shit. Yeah, but like, I don't. I never did like a professional therapy type situation, so I can't really speak from that perspective. But so that can just go. That's gonna go into what I'm gonna talk about today. Is there a reason why you ever went to a, ther- a professional, a mental health professional? You said, is there a reason why? Yeah. Um. No, there's not a reason why I haven't gone. Um. I mean, well, to be honest, I, this is what I think. So when I was looking for a therapist, I was looking for one at one point. It was just like I was seeing a bunch of white people and shit, and I'm like, bro, they're not really gonna be able to. Well, this really my thing. Not even just white people, because even it could be even black people too. I really feel like niggas ain't gonna relate to like what I like how I be feeling, or like they gonna give me some advice that's not really like relative to what I'm dealing with or going through type shit. Well, I can say from personal experience, I actually had a therapist. I still talk to him every now and then to check in on him. His name is Dr. Terry Sanders. He's a black man. So, like, he understood what I came from as a black man. Like, he came from us with the experience. And me and him kind of had an actual similar life experience by coincidence. Mm-hmm. Like, what we were going through. Like, what he went through at my age. Mm-hmm. So, like, it kind of, like, it helped me a whole lot just trying to, like, process the emotions and trying to realize I'm not alone, in a sense. Because, you know, like, I can be very candid. I was dealing with depression had anxiety due to some past experiences, so I was dealing with that. But I can tell you, going off what you just said, I can go into like reasons why people don't usually look for professional help. So I'm, only, I'm using Forbes, that's my source right now. Yo, we sourced out, stop playing. Yeah, I don't just come with things out of my... <laughs> Niggas doing research, head, nigga. So. Um, some people, they either lack the knowledge of what kind of help to seek and where to get it at, so they don't have any access to it, or they feel like they don't have access to it. Mm-hmm. Um, they only have a lack of confidence in mental health treatment. They feel like most mental health people, they don't really help you with the problem. They just give you words. Mm-hmm. Well, the purpose, okay, so let me say, the purpose of a mental health professional, they're not supposed to give you the answers. They're supposed to help you find the answers. They give you advice. They give you techniques. They give you, really, they try to help you find a root of the problem. They're not going to fix your problem for you. Yeah. So, just keep that in mind. So, if you if you if you feel like you're not getting what you need, either you change your therapist or start looking inward and seeing like, is it if I'm not being receptive to it or if I'm not, maybe I'm the problem. Mm-hmm. I might be the issue. And some people feel like also they were fearful of like if they reveal what they said to their therapist, they might need to go get like they might get put like in a psychiatric ward or they might need like medication. <laughs> really, I'm crazy, nigga. So shit. But you gotta realize there's confidentiality. Like they can't, <laughs> they can't fuck you up. I don't be wanting to tell niggas what I really be thinking. That's really what it is. I was afraid of doing that when I went in too, but he was like, "No, these niggas finna judge me." <laughs> <laughs> but their job is to not judge, though. That's part of their job. They can't judge you. Also, other people have fear of like them being called crazy. Like, there's a fear of like going to psychiatric, but it's also a fear of you being labeled as crazy. Stigma, because yeah. like even back then, like I know when I first told somebody I wanted to be a psychiatrist, like that's changed what I want to do now. But that's why I wanted to be at first. One girl said what like she's like now? a shrink. What you want to do now? I remember I was wanted to be a so. Side note, we're going to take <laughs> So I, for right now, I'm in school. I'm about to graduate soon. I'm doing industrial organizational psychology. So I'm understanding how businesses work. So I can either be a human resources representative. I can be a business consultant. Oh, that's hard. I didn't know like you was doing that shit, nigga. Yeah, things of that nature. I mean, you just transfer. I mean, you just changed your major? No, that was my major. Oh, okay, facts. Well, my original major was I wanted to be a teacher. You're right. That's what I thought. So I switched yeah. over to that like a while ago. Okay, that's hard. Y'all niggas need some HR support, nigga. Hit my nigga consistent. And last but not least, the reason why people don't look for therapists because it's of affordability. You can't yeah, find you can't afford, afford it. it. Mm-hmm. Um, it was on my insurance. That's why I was going to do it because I had Yeah, if you have insurance, insurance like, I know that's what happened with mine for mine. 
It was actually under my insurance. Basically, you just gotta like call the office or call whatever office you're thinking about going to. See if your insurance goes before you actually start getting like counseled by somebody. Mm -hmm. Just use your insurance. If you don't have insurance, they might have you just pay a flat amount. But you have to just you have to talk to your whoever your provider is while that's in that situation. Mm -hmm. So let's go more into like the fear thing or the stigma against mental health she mean, have you ever had a, like a stigma or like a perception of like mental health professionals um, professionals sorry i mean not necessarily i just kind of feel like they're gonna overanalyze shit like that's what they're, you know that's what they're supposed to overanalyze <laughs> it's like y'all niggas be overanalyzing mostly, shit. most therapeutic most <laughs> like most mental health professionals they're analytical that's why they got the job that's part of the thing they analyze people like mm -hmm. I, when i talk to somebody i'm already analyzing you it's not me you can call it judging but i'm analyzing yeah you're like, just okay. analyzing now like, i've been doing the same shit though like okay so you how, reading that shit? how are you how are you receiving what i'm saying mm -hmm. what's your mood things of that nature so like that's i already know like sometimes i get in the base off a of text i'm like okay this person's in a bad mood they're not, there's something bothering them. And yeah, the yeah. wrong, and then you get a defensive reaction. Yeah, there's something wrong. But, you know, I can say, like, going back to, like, the stigma against it, most people, you know, people back here, they used to call, um, like, mental health professionals shrinks. Shrinks? And there's a reason why, because, like, back in the day, mm -hmm. like, in medieval times, they used to call, what was it? Let me look that up real quick, because I have it. I just got to pull that up. They were called that for a specific reason. It, it was weird. I was like, I never thought that. Mm, I didn't even know that. Oh, this was, um, because, you know, like, um, in ancient times, they used to shrink the head of a conquered enemy. So, like, it was, like, derogatory. Because you're basically, like, when you're a mental health professional, people think that you're, like, you're shrinking their head or, like, you're basically, like, you know. Trying to make them small. In a way, yes. Yeah. Or you're, like, trying to get in their head. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. like. People were called that for a while, but you know, nowadays, mental health is not that bad. There's not much of a stigma against it. There still is, but more people are more open to it. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that people do instead of looking for mental health is they do self-care. They do their own try to things, which is not, there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes some people don't know what's really clicking, what's really wrong. Like, you could be dealing with, like, undealt with family trauma, undealt with relationship trauma, things of that nature. That's why I feel like therapy is helpful to push you in that direction. I'm not saying that er everybody needs a therapist, but then you have to make that conscious decision yourself. Mm. I didn't make my decision to go get a therapist. My parents had to go do that for me. So mm. sometimes they say, they you say yo, Jerry, you need to go see somebody. Yeah. Type shit. Because I try to deal with my own. Not, not everybody can deal with things on their own, especially when it comes to the mind. You know? Hey, I ain't going to lie. I feel like, man, I went through a kind of like, uh, an emotional part in my life, man. I had lost one of my girlfriends that I really fucked with, and like I was kind of in like a depression, essentially, um, for a while, low key. Like I was like, cool. You probably wouldn't know, like you know what I'm saying, if you was around me and shit. But like I was, like I couldn't shake it, type shit. Like it's like I tried everything to shake it, and I just couldn't shake it, and um. I think, though, if I would have went to a therapist, like, because I needed somebody to talk to. I feel like nobody could really relate to what I was going through or dealing with. Well, I could say, like... Or they, or they, or maybe if they could relate, they couldn't give me the necessary advice, like, that would, like, help me, like, speed up my recovery time. Um, I did that myself. Like, I went through a similar situation where I was, like, I lost a relationship I really cared about. That's the main reason I ended up going there, because I was dealing with depression and anxiety the whole time. So, yeah. like, I literally wasn't doing anything. I was sitting at home just sit in there yeah it's <laughs> in, like, my, just it's in my head it's in my head so like i, I knew there, this bitch wasn't right and basically all he was <laughs> telling me was like he basically did a type of therapy that i feel like a lot of people need mm -hmm. i'm about to go with that right now too as well it was a very helpful thing that was for me it was um it was cognitive behavioral therapy because i had to change the way i was thinking right i felt like it was all my fault things of that nature i blame myself for it so like he either changed what i'm thinking if you change what you're thinking your behavior is going to change too I can say that maybe I was self-sabotaging sometimes some things as well because the way I looked at myself or like the way I was thinking. I mean, but isn't it always your fault? Not always. Not with always? With relationship breaking down? Something. I mean, just in general. I feel like in life. I feel like you damn near have to make everything your you fault. You make bad decisions. Of course, I made bad decisions in a relationship. Of course, I'm not saying like, but it wasn't 100% my fault. I, like in the therapy session with my therapist, I did own up to things that I felt like I did wrong. Or just like putting yourself in certain positions. Yeah, I put myself in a bad position as well. So I mean? feel like that's your fault, essentially. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's just how, I, I mean, like, how I look at shit, like, I be trying to blame myself for shit because it's like, 
or just more so taking accountability because yeah. I can't control what's Somebody outside else. of me. You can't control. I can't. I, I can't control that you a fuck a fuck nigga. Like so, it's like nigga. Like if you do some some fuck shit to me, like. It's my fault for allowing it to happen. I don't, I don't even blame you. You you doing you doing what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? You a fuck nigga. You do fuck shit. So it's like, yeah. So like, going into that, like even like relationship, there's different therapies for that. Cause like there's um, if you're dealing with family issues, there's family therapy. Cause you know, be, us being black people, we deal with a lot of family trauma. <laughs> so we I do. know not. I know like Agreed. other cultures do too, but. The speaking from like where my our standpoint is black. We just don't know a lot of trauma. We don't know how to love each other, man. I think that's the problem. And we don't know how to communicate. And we don't know how to fucking communicate. That's that's that's. We, that's our right. first thing is either we cuss you out, or we just cuss you off, yeah. we ghost you instead of actually trying to deal with the problem. Nah, facts. It's like people don't want to deal with shit, or people don't want to like think past level fucking one. Like, yeah. <laughs> There's interpersonal therapy. That's when you're dealing with other relationships besides your family. Like it works for depression. It works for social rhythm. Also for bipolar disorder. Because a lot of people, I could say like. A lot of people are bipolar, low key. I'm pretty bipolar. But I feel like us as human beings, we all have mood swings. Uh, yeah, you so know, it's like, like that's not saying. Like everybody. Like, what's the, so that's what I'm saying. Like, what's the thin line between being bipolar and having a mood swing? Because I have mood swings. It's sometimes I I be with people and I be like, man, I don't want to be with these niggas no more. I'm ready to go. I feel like with that, that's not. This is not me. This is not me doing my research, but this is me, me yeah. living life. Mm -hmm. Like I've done, I've been in relationships with people that have been bipolar. It's like. You kind of like you on a regular basis. You switch. Yeah, you can have a mood swing on a regular basis, but like with bipolar, like you're going to the next extreme. Like yeah, one moment it's one extreme like, to another. Like one moment you're really cool, to the next moment just all it says is one thing. And it's like it's yeah. like snap. I dealt with a female that was like that. I'm actually not bipolar. Let me let me not put that over myself. <laughs> you know, like bipolar just. I have mood like, swings. Looking at people have mood swings. This is normal. I have mood swings. Like one time I might be just be chilling. Next time but I might be, you know, like. How do you get sad all of a sudden? Yeah, right. Like, something saying, like that. Right, right. It's not like... I feel what you're saying, though. Like, if it's like... Because, I mean, I have dealt with people who, like... Actually, so we can go into that. You can keep talking about... I'm about to look up what really classifies bipolar disorder. Because that's something like... You know, like, as black people, we got like, that person's bipolar. Yeah, we say that a so, lot. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> we, we put that shit on a lot of people. That's what I'm saying. That's a very normal term <laughs> in the black community. You know what I'm saying? So, like, so that's that, really something I wanted to know myself is, like... Cause I definitely don't think I'm bipolar. Like the way you just explained it, like you're basically saying from one extreme to the next extreme. Like you go from like being like a real good mood, happy mood to like one small thing, and now you're just fucked for the next hour, or two hours. Yes, yeah, I've been with people like that. It's a mental care. disorder characterized by periods of depression and periods of abnormally elevated mood that each each lasts from days to weeks. So like it's kind of what I said, but it's like it's kind of like that's the more like elaborate or extended version of it. So like, for example, if your elevated mood is severe associated with psychosis, like crazy, basically like being crazy, mm -hmm. unless your elevated mood, then that might mean you have bipolar. But if it's less severe, you like if it doesn't like affect your functioning, it's hypomania. But during mania, you might be abnormally agitated, happy, or irritable. Mm -hmm. And you make impulsive decisions with little regard for the consequences. Mm -hmm. I know somebody exactly like that. Read this. I know someone exactly yeah, like right, that. Yeah. I feel like basically when you're bipolar, you do things on an impulse more than like a, a mood swing. Sometimes when you have a mood swing, you kind of like something has to influence it. You know what I mean? Like, like something happens and then, yeah, I feel what you're saying. But if I, with bipolar disorder, it just, it just happens. happens. It's an impulse. Mm. Which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy as fuck. Because like also, I think I feel like that kind of like this... This going on like the disorder. So I feel like a lot of people have like a narcissist disorder. Yeah, bro. I'm. I, I know we talked about this before. We, you know what I'm saying, y'all go check out the episode two. Of Is Control Drake a Attack. narcissist? Yeah. We, yeah, we, we that episode. But like, I feel like what that was like. That was like it was an informative episode, but we were troll. I was trolling. <laughs> <laughs> niggas I was, I niggas was be trolling the show. Niggas I definitely trolling be trolling. That, I was trolling on the episode, but like with a narcissist, you can tell what a narcissist is. Like a narcissist will use anybody to like get whatever they want. <laughs> yeah. Like they'll use any and everybody. Like you see, most narcissists don't have healthy relationships. Mm. Like most narcissists, like do they have a true friend? Probably not. If they if that's their friend. They're probably using them from some 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 ulterior motive. Right type shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I bet. They really out here living solo, for real. Well, they, this is going to be funny. I don't say this. this they have main character central. Yeah. <laughs> they feel like the world revolves around them. Their main character. Yeah. Everybody's a side character. This is my story. 
And if you don't help me accomplish my goal or my plot, you can't live my story. <laughs> you can't live my here. world. You know what I mean? That's basically main character syndrome. But yeah, it's just like I feel like, bro. Don't say you're a narcissist. I feel like that's what you have to get to. Don't say that. I'm not gonna say I'm a narcissist, <laughs> but I say like I have some narcissistic traits and qualities. I feel like, but I, I feel, feel like, like a certain level of narcissism is necessary for success. That's what I do believe. Do you? Feel I believe everybody that's in a, in a position of success or power. Do you feel like narcissist? Na- I feel. Do you feel like narcissists would be considered also a sociopath? What is a sociopath? A sociopath is a person like they like they know what emotions are, but they kind of use those emotions like to manipulate people. They so they know what they don't really feel emotions, but they know what emotions are, so they use those emotions like to manipulate people Mm. or get what they want because they know like certain things will cause certain emotions in people, and then they can control them. Sociopaths are probably the most dangerous people you ever meet. There's a side note. I'm not, but my high my high school history teacher called me a sociopath. But the context was I wasn't laughing at his joke. I wasn't <laughs> laughing at a joke he made. Yeah. But like a sociopath, I actually have empathy. Sociopaths, they can fake empathy. I have true empathy though. Yeah. Because Sophia, I mean, bro, I don't. I mean, on some real shit, I feel like everybody has a sociopathic tendencies. <laughs> yes, everybody has narcissistic tendencies. Everybody has. It's just when you take these things to the extreme, like, because I feel like everybody has these qualities that we're talking about, like, everybody's bipolar to a certain degree, you know what I'm saying? Like, some people just are labeled bipolar because they shit is on 100 rather than, like, 25%. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm probably, like, 25% bipolar, like, on the, on the scale of bipolar. <laughs> So you wouldn't classify me as a bipolar so, nigga. If, you want, if I want to categorize myself, I'd probably say I'm like I'm a ten percent narcissist. I really don't think that high of myself. Yeah. I don't really use people. I might be a little bit sociopathic, but that's at times. That's only when I'm in a vengeful <laughs> mode. I'm in a vengeful. I'm, in, I'm vengeful. If I'm trying to get revenge, I might be. Using, I might. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna tap into your sociopathic ability. Oh god! I this, don't. I, it's wrong. This is, this All is, this is wrong. This okay? is, All this is wrong. This is just saying, life. This is real shit. <laughs> I'm admitting my faults. Niggas really be on this. I'm putting my flaws out on front on Wall Street for y'all. So I have had some sociopathic tendencies, but I'm not about to try and kill you. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not gonna use it for evil. Looking at. <laughs> You use it for wrong, but I'm not trying to kill you. The thing is, you need to be able to... The thing I'm saying is therapy. They're going back to the point. Therapy is necessary so you can identify these things and work towards conquering them. Yes. Don't let these I things... Agree. Don't let these things conquer you. You conquer them. Yeah. Or if you can't conquer them because some things are so deeply ruined, learn how to cope with it. You yeah. You know what I mean? Like... Nah, this is all facts. Cause like I had depression, like I still be depressed sometimes, but it but now you understand how to overwhelm me. Now you understand how to deal with it because yeah. you're knowledgeable on what's going on, and that's really the key. I guess like that's the key of therapy <laughs> is they put you on game. You talking to a nigga who goddamn is an expert in what he's talking about, so it's like like, like for me like that's that's what that's hard. Like I for, need to go. <laughs> like, like for me, like when I went to Mr. Samuel's, like. I can't. I was. I'm already doing a type of psychology, so I already have to learn some things anyway. Yeah, you was, he, he was halfway hit. He just put me more on game to like. Okay, like, like for example, my main biggest issue with like my depression and stuff was more because like I let what people say about me get so deeply rooted in me. Because I think my thing is for me, I'm a I'm a people person. I'm not a people pleaser. Well, I was, but like my relationships, my relationships are very key to who I am. So if someone who I really care about says something bad about me. I start subconsciously like, yeah, like that's I who that. I am. Yeah, I mean, I that's don't, who yeah. I am. I feel you though. Yeah, like that's who I am. Yeah, and that's what that's was who, that's how people look at me or see me as, and that's what was going on. Yeah. So like he had to put me on game. He was like, nah, you can't give a fuck. You can't. That's not you. <laughs> like you know who you are. Yeah, I'm saying you are. Well, exactly. People like influence who you are, good or bad, positive or negative. So like even that's, even that's what I'm saying. That's the, that's the balance about life, I guess. You, like, you basically like, have to accept your strengths and your weaknesses, and you have to like. Okay, capitalize on your strengths and your weaknesses. Work on them bit by bit. But you're never going to be perfectly clear of those weaknesses. The, those weaknesses make you the individual you are. You know what I mean? Like, Facts. If we were perfect, we would be God. We're not perfect. So, you know, like, you just got to deal with what you have. Deal with the cards you're dealt. And that's what I basically... That's what I'm learning now. That's what we, that's what we, that's what we learn every day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, it's like... It's been like... I haven't been to my therapist in a minute. I need to go back. I just because, like, with him, after I've dealt, after, like, going through all those sessions with him, I kind of learned how to deal with stuff more on my own. Yeah. But it's always just good to do a check-in, check in, check yeah. in, talk, things of that nature, because you never know. That's a fact. I agree, bro. I'm about to sign up. Because <laughs> I, I have one person, um, 
Also, if y'all don't know, Brianna Reed, if you watch this, I know she does some type of counseling as well. I don't know if it's for men. Oh, but that's hard. She does some type of counseling. Yeah. So, you know. That's hard. You can go tap in with her. We'll probably, when we actually release this, we'll put, like, stuff in the description, get our information, because yeah. you're not... Just hearing us say we'll, this. We'll, we'll give y'all some, you know what I'm saying, some good therapists that y'all can, you know what I'm saying, tap in with. And um, and then also just be mindful, depending on what you want. With therapy, also, what you have to be careful with therapy is like, you know, because of COVID, COVID happened. For me, I needed someone in person. So I did I did online therapy, and I, it did not help me. Oh, okay. So no online therapies. You can, if you want to. Yeah, that's what you but that need. just didn't, you didn't, you ain't it. didn't suit me. Yeah. That's not for everybody. For your personal, Online therapy, yeah. I'm like, but I need a person. I mean, I see you on the screen, but it's not the same as me actually having a conversation with you. Yeah. It's like, I'm talking to you through a screen. I mean, I, I could probably do online. <laughs> it's, it's less, like, for me, like, when my therapist, he lives in Jones, well, his office is in Thur Jonesboro, so I was driving up to Jonesboro. Which is, like, an hour away from Because originally, when he first, because he started his own clinic. At first, he had his, like, he worked for somebody, and he yeah. was, like, five minutes away from the house, so I was like, ooh, that's smooth. Perfect, yeah. He was like, I put you with somebody else, but once I built that rapport with him, I was like, I can't, I don't, I don't feel comfortable going to somebody else. Right, right. So, yeah, but I got to tap back in with him, though, because Dr. Terry Samuels did help me through, like, a rough time. Shout out to Dr. Terry Samuels. I wasn't, I'm wasn't. i consistent now. I wasn't. I was starting to become consistent, but I went through a little rough patch. Everybody, yeah. goes through, Everybody rough go patch. through a rough patch, bro. You know what I'm saying? You human, bro. You He's know part saying? of the reason why I started this podcast. Yeah. He always told me if I ever wanted to put him on here, I could. I just got to figure out. We got to... Eventually, at some point, Wave TV, we're going to do an actual podcast where he's going to push you along game. We're going to go up to his office, he's going to push you along game. I just got to get him whenever he's free. Nah, facts. Because he, he's certified. You know, Dr. Terry. Dr. Terry Samuels. Dr. Terry Samuels, man. We need you on the pod, man. We need you to come through on CTC. And his wife does it too, though. So, can we get a, fe a female's perspective? Exactly. Too? We get both of y'all. We get you and your lovely wife to come on the show and talk to us about um, why mental health is important and why we need to be talking to a therapist and just giving us some game that we can use in the podcast in our lives thank you dr terry so now that we just did our we did our basically our <laughs> psychology thing let's go into just like our tangents like this like the worst ctt is an educational thing so we're, gonna we're just giving y'all theories and perspectives this this is going to kind of date things but y'all can you, take that and do what y'all want it's going to date things but how do you feel about the whole diddy situation and like do you feel like there's something going on in hollywood that they're not trying to tell us oh okay this is a good this is a good topic right here um, I mean, if you fucking did any type of hip hop historical homework, um, you know what I'm saying, you would know that Sean P. Diddy Combs, love, brother, brother love, love. <laughs> <laughs> and all it's all love, brother love. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying, bro? To be real, because I don't want to be on here and just bashing a black man. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That, that's not that's not what I want to do. Um, but, but at the end of the day, right is right and wrong is wrong. And if you fucking if the if the allegations are against you are true, then this is how you gotta I feel. face justice, bro. My nigga, like the shit that they coming out and saying that you doing, bro, is fucking very disturbing. Disturbing. Very disturbing number one like, and number two, I believe it. Like, and it's crazy because like I feel like people. My the bigger issue though, the base what we're talking about is the bigger issues like the thing that's going on behind the scenes in the movie industry, music, the entertainment industry as a whole is very disturbing. Cause like even think about with the whole Drake Bell situation where he was getting molested by some by somebody at Nickelodeon, and it's like all this stuff is going on and nobody's doing something. Like think about it, Drake Bell ain't really been doing nothing for years. This happened in two thousand four. It's been two. It's been a, a, a two decades and this just came up. <laughs> right. It's kind of it's disturbing because like. The people with power or money, they kind of like have a way to shut things down or like close things off or just brush stuff to the side. But people are really dealing with stuff like, I don't know Diddy, the whole Diddy situation, but I feel bad for people that got affected. And some people, I thought they just put themselves in a situation where they like, they basically sold their soul in a sense to make it like, not to try and like go that deep, but like I thought they sold their soul to try and get that fame or whatever that position they were trying to get that money. And it's sad to say that someone took advantage of that. We're humans, but like that's still wrong for somebody to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so. Nah, facts, bro. This nigga Diddy ass tripping, bro. <laughs> that nigga ass is tripping. I ain't gonna cap. Getting arrested on this. Oh, well, he didn't even get arrested. They say that he's man dipped. Well, they, yeah, they say he's <laughs> he in. Dipped. They say he's in a. Uh, Cade Verde. Cade, Cade Verde. Cade Verde. You know why, though? Because he can't get extradited. Right. No U.S. extradited. Which, extradited. I mean, is a smart move. I'm not, like, that was, that, I mean, that's what I would have done. That's, <laughs> that's some super villain type of activity. I ain't gonna lie, I would have did the same that's shit. That's some super villain type yeah, activities. Like, of it. No, I'm saying, this shit is fine. I hope, like, 
Like, you know how you Russell Simmons... Do you want to... I you know how like, Russell Simmons I feel like, like say you want a documentary on this. I feel like you want a doc surviving Diddy or yeah, surviving brother okay, love. Surviving brother love. <laughs> See, a way to be exclusive. That's why. Okay, like going to that. Let's go into that. Like I like the documentary. It's sad to hear about the stories that happen, but it's very informative and it's educational. So like, I like I was just like I was saying, it's bad these things happen, but like these things bring them on things to light. That's why I like podcasts, documentaries, because they bring stuff to light. That's why we did CTT. The purpose of CTT is to bring things to light. We're controlling the tide. So, you know, like, you know how we, we're part of wave, wave, the waves can be a frequency or it could be literally water, you know what I mean? So we're controlling the frequency of information that comes to you so you can be better equipped to deal with, like, the things you deal with in the world. I couldn't have said that any better. That was fucking That's perfect. what a wave is. That's what wave's purpose is to do. That was perfect. We show y'all, we show y'all the good parts of life, and we also are there for you guys in the bad parts of life. So, you know, like... It well, is you get it is. through every stage of your life. You know what I'm saying? My fuck, that's what more things... Wave you. Welcome to Wave you. I thought that's more what, like, Shout out to Professor needs. Consistent. I feel like that's more what social media needs. Like, no cap. social media or just media in No general, cap. We like, need to be able to see the real authenticity of what's going on. Because oh, if you're only showing people the good... You know what I'm saying? You fake, essentially. Because that's not real facade. life. Yeah, it's a yeah. facade. It's not real life. You know you what I'm saying? You gotta, like... You gotta keep it real with folks, like you know what I'm saying. Like we have to be, we have to be, we have to basically like applaud for the good things, but we also need to shed light on the bad things. Yeah, like, bro. This is what I'm going through. This is what I'm dealing with right now. You know what I'm saying? Because if you never do, like some people get unheard. Like a lot of people deal with a lot of things. Like I'm not trying to go too deep, but a lot of people do like they feel like they have no voice or they have nobody that understands what they're going through. But you know, CTT, we have that. Wave has that. We have the. We're 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 down here for y'all. We're not. We're not high up in the clouds like some of these people are. Yeah, they bro. Don't see what you're going through. Yeah, like, bro. We know or feel you. You know what I'm saying? We can there. feel you. You know what I'm saying? And if we are, when we when when we get that big, we're still not. That's never gonna be. I don't want to be that big. Picture. I don't want to be that big to where you know what I'm saying. We can't touch the people. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit is for the people. You know what I'm saying? Wave is for the people. Like, like this shit ain't for us. Speaking on the speaking other projects and everything like Wave Digital Stones out here promoting y'all businesses, promoting your services. Stone's putting y'all on game. Stone's trying to put you out there. So I'm like, giving y'all all my resources. All the resources that I have, you know what I'm saying? I'm willing to let you have this, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to see y'all eat. He wants y'all voice to be heard. And I know what y'all businesses is lacking. Most of y'all businesses is lacking this That's shit. That's exposure. Like, That's exposure. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have the best product out there, but you just don't have exposure. So And that, and come, and that comes through marketing and advertising. You feel what I'm saying? And what do you need to market and advertising? You need high quality content. You feel me? So it's like I'm really trying to help y'all and put y'all on game. So if you have, if you're, so just letting y'all know. If but you have know, any business, go to Wave. Like Digital. I said, Wave is for the people. You know what I'm saying? Go Wave to Wave people. Digital if you want some educational information. Go to um, Wave TV. Control the tide. If you just want some blogs, just go to Wave TV as well. You want, if you see want some, some lifestyle content? Hey, you know what I'm check us out. We're letting y'all know it's coming up soon. We, we know y'all missed it. We come. We bring it back. Tsunami Kitchen. We got a lot of shit on the way. Wave Sports is already there. He's already doing Wave Light, Wave Elite, where he's doing the sport. But we might bring back some events where like we doing like like the batting cages or Wave Sports things like that. And eventually, we're we gonna do gonna a bring sports back. podcast. We're gonna talk about sports. Stone. We definitely gonna bring back the um. We definitely gonna bring back the, the vlogs. TV. You know what I'm saying we, we we had a good run with season one. Um. Of the vlogs. We're just prepping up for season two. We're prepping up for season this two. This summer. Se season two is going to be fire, though. I'm trying, I'm summer, trying to tell you. Season two, two is going to be fire. Um, what else we got? We got we, some trips coming up soon. We got some trips coming up soon, but we're going to keep that on the hush right now until, you know what I'm saying, we got that shit finalized. But we definitely going to have some. And we're going to have a Project Wave 2. Yeah. Project Wave 2, you know what I mean? <laughs> Project Wave was a movie the first time. I don't remember Project Wave. I was a different person, so that <laughs> night was a, that night was a blur. <laughs> but this time I will be there for the whole event. I had to leave early. Matter of fact, Ooh. I'll just go to that story. This is the story why. Okay, if you can okay, if you do drugs, do drugs. But if you if you don't have the fortitude to do drugs, do not do drugs. I will tell y'all what happened that night. So we just gonna go to this. So there was a person who was a vendor there that was selling <laughs> THC. <laughs> infused items I didn't eat that day I just got off of work so I was hungry so she had a taco plate ooh I ate the whole taco plate and ooh. I ate two gummies ooh <laughs> I'm at Project Wave they performing everything but I'm standing there I'm just like it didn't hit and then when it hit me I like I just don't remember nothing, bro. I remember, <laughs> I remember I walked up to you. I was like, I want to skate. I, I got to skate, bro. I got to be a Because I had to work the next day, too. Yeah. So I was like, bro, I was like, if I sit down here, bro, I'm going to yeah, be stuck. Yeah, it's going to be over with. <laughs> so yeah. got in my car, drove home. Don't remember how I got home. 
I remember, I remember I was going, like, I had to drive on, like, the interstate, y'all. <laughs> we were in downtown Atlanta. I was like, I don't remember how I got home. And then the next day, I was coming to work. I'm just like, I felt like I was a like, whole simulation, bro. I feel like, <laughs> I'll tell you how this was. I thought I had died that lat the previous night. <laughs> like, my whole life was flashed before my eyes. Like, I was like, oh, so nothing happened. But, like, eventually, I, I sobered up after work, during work that day. And I was like, oh, you're never again. <laughs> That was my come to Jesus moment. I nah, couldn't do facts. it. <laughs> nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Project Wave was a movie. I'm going to say that the whole point of that was like Project Wave was a movie. is a fun time for me. And it's going to be a fun time again. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. We'll give y'all updates as it comes up. And we also, Stone's going to talk about it soon, but we will be re releasing a Wave Patreon for our, dearest and, our nearest and dearest fans. You know what I mean? So you can be tapped in on everything. We're gonna have different tiers, so you can yeah, man. We're gonna get y'all all the exclusive behind the scenes content. You know what I'm saying with that, with the Patreon. Um, you know what I'm saying, access to merch. You know what I'm saying, exclusive merch, shit like that. You know what I'm saying. You gonna just be tapped in on the, on on what's going on. Wave is the wave is base, wave is basically a content hub. If you're a creative, if you have anything that you can like contribute to wave, hit up Stone. Stone's always here. Stone's always available. If you want to come join on a podcast, yeah, do that. You will get evaluated, things like that. It's not gonna be. We're not super professionals but we will evaluate you nah, we are we are super professionals we're gonna evaluate your ass and if you don't meet the criteria we're not gonna put it out i'm sorry for the podcast yeah, okay yeah, okay okay I, I mean it's just the truth if it's not good shit we're not gonna put it out <laughs> as long as you're not gonna make us get canceled or we you just need to have good conversation don't come on here bullshitting or don't make put up say something too vulgar where we can't mm. even post the episode. it needs to be good shit so we can't saying? don't say nothing too vulgar where we can't post the episode i mean you can do that too shit but it depends on what it is if you go too deep all right right i mean you can't episode. say certain shit you for sure post the episode. i mean i could just take it out shit like that but, but i mean either way like either way you know what i'm saying just basically when you come here we don't come here bullshit nigga because we're not here to bullshit we're here to handle business get this shit done and yeah that's what we're fucking doing and we're gonna have a great time while we're doing it we're gonna have fun <laughs> so if you're creative remember always show up you know what i mean like you know wave is for the hungry you know what i mean if you if you're trying to eat if you're, if you're trying, trying to eat yeah come to wave. build you know what i mean facts Hit up Stone Cold. He's the man. You know what I mean? If you're trying to get on CCT, hit up me or Stone Cold. Yeah, facts. Stone Cold is the main line of contact. <laughs> you can contact me, but Stone is the, is the CEO of Wave. Nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we. If y'all need some help, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know where to find me. I'll tell y'all this. CTT, we want we want different perspective. We want, we want some more female perspectives. Or we just want to be from different walks of life. Right. If you're from the hood, come on in. We can talk about stuff on that. If you want to talk about stuff on CCT or just on any other pod that Stone has. Because Stone has his own podcast, too. Yeah. He we got own. multiple pods on Wave, you know what I'm saying? But If you're trying to learn how to get a house, there's Tim and, there's Tim and Stone, you know what I mean? Facts. We have different areas. That's what I'm saying. Wave has different waves. Literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so. we're, the, we're the ocean. This is, this is an infinite flow of waves, nigga. And I wanted to just talk about this on the pod. Do you think we're ever gonna have like a like a female led one where they just talk like where they have like they just talk, of course they pop their stuff? We're definitely you know gonna I mean? have a female led podcast very soon. We could do that this week. Looking at it, <laughs> nah, I'm just like, but no, nah, some real shit. We definitely finna have that. You know what I'm saying? Because my whole thing is like. Like, we doing this shit right now just because, you know what I'm saying, we starting it out and we got to do this shit. But, you know what I'm saying, I eventually see this. I really want this shit to be, like, a TV network, bro. Like, we got hella fucking shit going on. You feel me? And even at the same time, like, with we CTT got, and our other podcasts, me and Stone don't want to be on every episode. We'll be there, yeah. you know what I mean? But, like, eventually we want we want to give everybody else the ball in that exactly. court so they can be, like, they, they can be who they who That's they, why we need Dr. Terry and him to come on and his wife, you know what I'm saying? We need them type of shit. I mean, we need those type of and things. And we need some high-level thinking females, yeah, some high-level yeah. thinking. Me? people not just yeah. females people people you know in I mean? general right it's like y'all all have a contribution never feel like you can't contribute there's always someone you contribute either it's through serving like helping out wave do the behind the scenes work or you're actually in the field you're doing skits podcasts things of that nature so don't ever feel like you can't contribute to something or you have no meaning you know what i mean don't ever wave wants you to feel like you always have something to call that you're called to do or to accomplish you know? facts you know what i'm saying everybody is you know what i'm saying i believe everybody got the star quality you know what i'm saying just got to be brought out of this type shit or put in a position to where you know what i'm saying people can see it and access it and shit so um yeah man that's what we're doing here at ctt at wave tv you know what i'm saying we got a lot of shit on the way man he really covered you know what i'm saying a lot of it but I'm not finna redo what he just said type shit. But <laughs> y'all get the fucking point, man. Tap the fuck in. Get right. Goddamn. Follow, subscribe. Follow, subscribe. Comment, tell a friend to tell a friend. Comment, repost this shit. Comment, repost. I mean, but to be honest, 
Y'all don't even gotta do that. On some real shit. We finna go up regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Whether y'all niggas do it or y'all don't. So I mean, I would, I would, I would hope that y'all would. But to be honest, fuck y'all. But still, you can contribute to Wave TV. You can definitely contribute. We, you know what I'm saying? We're taking all contributions. And positive. And if it's not Wave TV, you can contribute to Wave Digital. Stoney, Stone, Stone is a hardworking man. You can help Stone out by providing some camera work, some content work. Yeah, bring me some clients. Some clients. You can bring some Bring clients. me some paying clients. That's you what you can bring some clients, me. or you can help Stone out on the field. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, Hey, man, Wave Digital... We, we we ain't started hiring people yet, but soon, bro, because it's, it's becoming a lot, and you know what I'm saying? I definitely need some help. I we really need want... editors. We need some... I really want a disciple, bro. I want somebody who I can just take up under my wing and just kind of, you know what I'm saying, show them everything that I do and give them the game, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying, hopefully they can, you know what I'm saying, be a part of what we're doing here. And, you know what I'm saying, you do your own shit. Like, I'm cool with that, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to hold no... I'm not going to hold nobody hostage, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to... Do none the of that shit. Really, the purpose of all the stuff that Wave does, we want you to grow. Yeah, so like, we want everything if to you, grow. If it gets to that point where you're like, hey, I'm I going need to, yeah, away. go ahead, bro. Blessings to you. You know what I'm saying? You always helped. We, you helped us out. We helped you. And it's, all gonna, it's always going to be love. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never really trying to fall out about nobody about shit. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of this shit don't even be. If ain't nobody died, you feel me? Like, I don't got no beef with nobody, bro. I'm some real shit. So it's like, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to be love on this side. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's what I'm on. I don't have time to fucking... I don't have time to emit a negative frequency from my body into the universe. Knowingly. You feel me? That's counterproductive to what I'm trying to do. <laughs> it's counterproductive, bro. So, you know... So, you guys, at the end of the episode, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow our, look at our other content. Look at Wave Digital, Wave TV. Even go to Stone Cold Wave and Wave Elite. If you're trying to hoop, last thing before we go out here, if you're a hooper, <laughs> go to Wave Elite. Or if you do any type of sports, yeah, come, go come to Wave, Wave Elite. Elite if man. you want Stone to come, shoot. Some yeah. of you do a highlight reel. Things of that nature. <laughs> He's your man. Okay. No so, Get make right. sure you go tap in. Get right. I feel like, you know... I'm going to say some of these hoopers I've seen with, with Stone stuff Stone going to make you look right even if you're not that, that nice Stone going to shoot Stone <laughs> Stone going to cut it to where Stone going to cut it to where all the good stuff is showing bro you going to look fire as fuck <laughs> I'll make you look fire as you're fuck you're going to lucky way to be a D1 commit bro I promise you guarantee funny, guarantee bro. but after okay on that note peace y'all we out <laughs>